Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you all how to homebrew your old Nintendo 3DS and 2DS consoles. Now this is on the newest version, which is 11.17.0.50. And this will also work on the US consoles as well as the European consoles and Japanese consoles. Uh, all you're really going to need is a SD card formatted to FAT32. If you have an SD card that's over 32 gigabytes, you are going to need a separate program that will format your SD card to FAT32. I'll leave that in the description below, but uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Let me go ahead and insert the SD card. And the first thing we're going to do is check to see if our system already has custom firmware installed. So we're going to do this by selecting the select button, holding it down, and then power on the console. And as long as the console boots into the main 3DS screen, we are good to go. So just give it a second to turn on. And uh, the main reason for checking this is just like maybe you bought your console from Craigslist or eBay or just somewhere online. You just want to make sure that it didn't have homebrew on it ahead of time. It looks like mine doesn't, so we're good to go. The next thing that we're going to check on here is the version number. So we're going to launch into the system settings. And you'll be able to see in the bottom right corner here, we're on version 11.17.0.50u. So just hold on to this and we're going to head over to the PC for a little bit. Okay, now for the computer side of this. We're going to be using the 3DS hacks guide as usual and I'll leave a link in the description below for everything that I'm using here today. Uh, we already ran through the custom firmware check, so that's done. Uh, we did our system version check and that's done. Now we're going to be selecting our console. I already covered the new 3DS and 2DS consoles in a different video. If you're interested in that, I'll leave that in the link below as well. But today we're doing the old 3DS and 2DS console and we are on the newest version, which is 11.17.0.50, and I am you. Gonna hit confirm. And the next thing it's gonna ask you is your operating system, which I'm using Windows. And there's two things we're gonna need to have installed here, and that is the latest release of MeSet9, which is gonna be in a zip file here. I'm just gonna download that. Go back, and we need to grab any 3X version of Python, which we can just go ahead and hit the download section here and grab Python 3.12.2 or whatever it is at your time of watching this video. And we're good on that. Okay, so now the next step would be to return to the console and we're gonna go ahead and open up the Mii Maker. This is just to make sure all essential files that were needed are created. Some of you might get a message saying that it is creating extra data, but if not, just go ahead and return back to the home menu. And then we're gonna take the SD card out of the 3DS or 2DS and head back over to the PC. Okay, now we have our download folder over here on the right and our SD card over here on the left. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and install Python. So I'm gonna double click on this, hit run. I'm just gonna hit install now, let this do its thing. And when it's all done, it's gonna tell you the setup was successful. Go ahead and hit close. And now we're gonna right click the release.zip and go to extract to the release.zip. This will create a separate folder with all the contents extracted. And what we're going to do is just highlight everything and bring it over to the root of our SD card. Once it's on here, we're going to open up the meset9.bat. This is where the Python comes into place. Uh, once you install that, you'll be able to see all this. Uh, but from in this menu, it's going to tell you to enter one, two, three, or four corresponding to your uh, console and your version number. So I'm using the old 3DS running on version 11.8.0 to 11.17.0. So I'm gonna do number one, hit enter, and then it's gonna give you a couple of other options again uh, to perform a sanity check, to inject me set nine payload and remove me set nine. Uh, we're gonna press one for perform sanity check. And you might get this little error like I got here that says title.db does not exist on SD card. Um, what we're gonna do to fix this is actually right in here. Uh, it says, please initialize the title database by navigating to System Settings, Data Management, Nintendo 3DS, Software, Reset, then rerun this script. So we're going to do exactly that. Let's head back over to the 3DS. Now, once again, when we're on the console, we're going to go to System Settings, Data Management, Nintendo 3DS, Software. And then it's going to tell you the SD card software management information is corrupt. Reset it now. This will delete all software and save data. Go ahead and hit reset. And when it's done, it's gonna say reset complete. You can re-download your software from Nintendo eShop. 
Press OK, and then we're going to take the SD card out and return over to the PC and continue where we left off. Now, continuing where we left off once again, we're going to hit the MeSet9.bat. I'm going to select one for my version and console. I'm going to select one for a perform sanity check. And it looks like it's giving me all the green here. And you'll even see here at the bottom, it says everything appears to be functional with an exclamation point. Just press enter to exit. And now we're all set here for the time being. Let's go ahead and grab the SD card and head back over to the 3DS. Now for this next step here, the instructions need to be followed exactly, or it's not gonna work. So you need to pay attention during this part. What we're gonna do is go ahead and go over to system settings. And we're just gonna highlight system settings. We're not gonna tap it, we're not gonna touch it. And we're gonna go ahead and power off the system. Once it's off completely, we're gonna go ahead and power it back on. Then we're gonna press A to launch into the system settings. Then we're gonna head over to data management, Nintendo 3DS, and then select extra data. And now from this screen, you don't wanna to touch anything. Don't touch any buttons, don't touch the screen. You wanna make sure that the Mii Maker option is seen here and we're gonna take the SD card out. Be very careful not to touch any buttons or the screen. And now we're gonna head over to the PC. Again, be gentle with the console. Make sure you don't accidentally tap those bumpers in the back. And I will see you in a second. Okay, so all we have to do is run the MeSet9.bat. Again, select your console and region. And this time we're gonna select option two for inject MeSet9 payload. And let this just do its thing, but it should be pretty quick and tell you at the bottom, press enter to exit. And now we're gonna take the SD card out and head back over to the console. Now, once again, we gotta make sure we're very careful when we're doing this. Don't touch any buttons, don't touch the screen. And we are gonna insert our SD card into the 3DS. Put mine in backwards like a dummy. And if it's successful, you'll get a different screen like I have. So this is the Safe B9S installer, and this is what's gonna put custom firmware onto our console. And all we're really gonna do here is just follow the prompts on the screen. So it's gonna tell you uh, all input files verified to install firm, enter the sequence below, or press the B button to cancel. I'm just gonna go ahead and enter this code in. It'll probably be different for you. And it's gonna do a firm backup. And it's gonna tell you SIG hacks firm install success, press A to continue. And now on this screen, the guide recommends that you do not enable anything, but I'm going to enable loading external firms and modules because I've used it before with Twilight. So I'm just gonna press start here. And this is gonna save and exit. Now, once your console fully reboots, we're going to take the SD card out and head back over to the PC because we're going to remove Me Set 9 from the SD card. And once again, we're going to select Me Set 9.bat, select your console and version. And this time, we're going to select option three for remove Me Set 9. And it'll tell you successfully removed Me Set 9. Press enter to exit. Now we're pretty much done. Your console should boot into Luma 3DS by default. But we do have some finalizing applications. We're gonna install a bunch of useful things for you guys. So let's go ahead and just jump into that. So heading back over to the guide, we're gonna go over into finalizing setup. And then it's gonna give you a brief description of everything that it's gonna install. So we have FBI, which installs CI formatted applications. We have the homebrew launcher loader, which launches the homebrew launcher. We have uh, an enemy, which installs custom themes. Checkpoint, which backs up and restores save files. Uh, FTPD, which accesses your 3DS SD card wirelessly, Universal Updater, which is a homebrew app store, and God Mode 9, which is a multi-purpose tool which can do NAND and cartridge functions. And if you just scroll down a little bit, they actually package this all nicely into a finalizing script. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the finalizehelper.firm, which is a direct download, and the finalize.romfs, if I'm pronouncing that right. So these next two steps are simple. I have the SD card once again on the left and the downloads over on the right. We're gonna grab this finalize.romfs and put it on the root of our SD card. Then we're gonna open our Luma folder that's on our SD card and we're gonna create a new folder called payloads. 
open up the payloads folder and we're going to drag in this finalize helper dot perm and that's it now we're going to head back over to the 3ds okay so the next step is the rtc and dsp setup i've had people ask me in the past if this step is necessary and it is i mean it's to sync up the 3ds internal clock with the actual time and it dumps the sound firmware which basically makes the sound work for a certain homebrew software uh, but anyways to do this we're going to hold down the left shoulder down on the d-pad and select all at the same time and this is what's going to bring up the rosalina menu I'm gonna just zoom in so you guys can see this here from here we're going to go into miscellaneous options then we're going to go into dump dsp firmware and it's going to tell you dsp firmware successfully written then press b and then we're going to go over into nullify user time offset a on that and it's going to say operation succeeded please reboot to finalize the changes so let's go ahead and do just that so i'm going to press the b button b button b button to return to the main menu and we'll go ahead and turn the console off after that zooming out here a little bit we're going to go ahead and hold down the start button and tap the power button this is going to boot us into god mode 9 and the screen's a little dim here so it might be kind of hard for you guys to see i'll do the best i can to get the lighting right so once we're on this menu if you're prompted to do anything like fix your rtc date and time or to create an essential file backup go ahead and do what you're prompted to do otherwise you're just going to see this blank screen just like i have and all we're going to do is hit the home button then we're going to go over into scripts and then we're going to select finalize and this is going to do a bunch of things up top like install cia files do a nan dump so just do whatever prompts appear on the screen like it's asking me right now. If you're okay with this, press A to continue, press A. And it's gonna tell you the sysnan is locked, press A to unlock it. And then it's gonna tell you to input a key combination. This may be different depending on your device. And it's just gonna go through installing everything. So just give it a moment and I'll be back. All right, and when it's all done, it's going to tell you that the setup is complete. And in the bottom section, it's going to tell you to press A to continue, which is just going to power off the device. Uh, there's only two things we really have left to do. We're going to take the SD card out and we're going to save our NAND dump to our PC for safe usage for later. If you ever break your console or something like that, you're going to want to have these files. And then lastly, we're going to unwrap our CIA files that were installed. So let's go ahead and start with the SD card. So this part's pretty simple. We're just going to go into the GM9 folder and we have a backups folder here that has our information. I'm just gonna take this whole folder and drag it to my desktop. You guys can save this wherever you'd like, but just give this a moment to transfer. Once that's finished transferring, we can go ahead and open up the backups folder again, and we can delete the .bin and .sha file here just to save some space on the SD card. So I'm just delete that, hit yes. We're gonna keep this exefs on the SD card, but let's go ahead and eject the SD and head back over to the 3DS one final time. Okay, and turning the console on, it's just going to say new software has been added to the home menu. Go ahead and press OK. And it's going to have you unwrap them all individually. So let's just go ahead and unwrap. And we have an enemy, which is for installing custom themes once again. Go ahead and unwrap the next one. This one is checkpoint, so this is for your save files. FBI, which is for installing CIA files. FTPD, which is again for wireless access, your SD card that is. Uh, this is the homebrew launcher, which I think most of you know what that is. And finally, we have the universal updater. And this is basically where you can go and grab other homebrew applications. But that's pretty much it. Your console is currently running custom firmware. It doesn't look any different than the normal 3DS menu. But uh, you're pretty much all set to go from here. I'd recommend checking out some of my other videos to get started. Maybe you'd be interested in watching a RetroArch video and getting some emulation going. But uh, until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.